Crafters! And welcome to another episode about Minecraft. I sang it like that because of what I'm about to show you today. Uh, this episode is really special because it's going to be the first build in the Nether, which, because of 1.8, suddenly became a lot more interesting. So, let's, uh, let's take a look, shall we? This little walkway heads into one of the entrances to a concert hall. Now, here is the ticket office. You buy your tickets, and then you go up and see the show. Everything else is little, you know, merchandise stands for the bands that we're playing here. So, yeah, we got that. We have the stairs here that. Ooh, I forgot to mention. Not even, not just merchandise stands, but bars, so I thought that the lighting with lava going down the back side would look really nice. Of course, it does screw up in a few spots, but, um, that's just because of all the nether racks sitting there and whatever. Um, also, the lava helps to keep out guys who try to freeload and watch through the windows. Not that they can really see much anyway, if you really look over there. But, uh, anyway, we got a big support column. Here's the stairs. And if we go up the stairs, we come out into the interesting portion of this. Here we are, the audience stands. Very huge and awesome. I don't even know how many people could be seated here. I didn't give anybody chairs because you don't sit down at a metal concert. What's wrong with you? No, you, you sit up and you're headbanging and you're having a good time and possibly throwing people off of the bleachers or whatever. So, yeah, this goes down to a little um, area down here, balcony. It's the closest you can get to the stage without being on the in the pit. I was thinking about having a metalocalypse type thing where I have uh, pistons in the ceiling that release streams of lava that kill some people in the audience. It would be really hilarious. Um, but yeah, that's all I have here. Here's the the, you know, mosh pit, whatever section, the ground floor, um, blocked off by a fence. I think it has a fairly realistic view of the stage. So, got some entrance halls under there for maintenance of instruments, which, because this is Minecraft, <laughs> they're pretty freaking ridiculous. Um, yeah, so here's my lead guitar. Uh, or one of them for the band that I'm showing here. It's my favorite band in the world, Mastodon. They're amazing. Um, I have just black wool, gray wool, rail. I would have liked to have had a thicker, you know, more rails to make it look like more strings, but that makes it look like more of a classical guitar, which makes it a little bit, I don't know, looks a little bit silly. So uh, I just had to do with the one string. And from far away, it does look like it has, you know, more strings than you would think. There's the uh, volume and tone dials, whatever. This is like a, looks kind of like a dime bag. What, what do they call those? I forget. The Dean Razorback, whatever things. Uh, those kind of guitars has the little off kilter head piece. Yeah. So that's that. Here's the microphone stand. Um, nothing much to really see here. I mean, yeah, everything's sitting on rails. I originally had fences, but come on, you need metal for a metal concert hall. Here's the bass, slightly longer than the lead guitar. Um, yeah, same basic uh, thing, different shape. Don't know what the name of the model is, but I uh, wish I could tell you. Um, so, and up here we have the drummer stand. Now, I think this is absolutely <laughs> adorable because of like, you know, in Minecraft, you can't really make very good, small, detailed things. You need to, like, pump up the volume, I mean, the size a lot to get anything. So, yeah, here we have a bass drum, other kinds of drums, whatever. Two gigantic <laughs> tree trunk-like drumsticks. Hilarious. Um, bass drum's got the little thing there. This would be the pressure plate that, well, I might include, you know, a note block or whatever so that when you stand there it sounds like you're playing the bass drum um, but the uh, stool is so huge 
so tall that you need stairs to get up to it. I don't know how anybody would play these things. I mean, it's pretty hilarious how much bigger they are than you. It's like, feels like I'm a Smurf in Gargamel's freaking garage playing a band gig, whatever. Um, and behind the stage and under the stage, we have a, a sort of airplane hangar-like place for the roadies to work on the instruments because they are so huge. Um, and But epic. I really think they're really awesome. And I think if Mastodon knew that this was here, they would play the shit out of them. They would love to do it. Um, but anyway, yeah, we need this much space to have a good roadie area or whatever. Um, and out here, we have a uh, sort of heli air lifting, whatchamacallit, for helicopter to bring in these instruments. In fact, for Mastodon, we're supposed to have another guitar. I don't know why it's not here yet. They were supposed to be here an hour ago. Lazy bastards, fucking unions. Oh well. And, uh, so, also we have, last thing are these nice little lighting rigs. I thought they looked fairly um, realistic. I mean, it is kind of weird how much uh, how much they really catch your eye. I mean, it's probably better if I turn down the brightness. I turn it up because of, well, like I always say, fraps kind of rapes the brightness. And yeah, it produces a pretty good uh, stage lighting effect. Two giant amps. And uh, oh yeah, Here's the big TV screens for if you're all the way up in the nosebleed section. So, um, yeah. It's kind of funny how the symbols glow in the dark. I mean, I would have used gold, but gold looks really tacky on these things. They look like giant messed up blocks of cheese or something. Like, I, I really don't like how they look on these. So, instead I used glowstone. And I think it looks at least a little bit better. Still kind of funny that it lights up everything, though. But, uh, yeah, that is my metal concert hall, Tartarus. Tartarus, we are not fucking around. So, please like, subscribe, whatever, and goodbye.